much for the Tudor Days project. We're going to be removing our AC compressor. Um, I had it tested and it had a very low reading, so um, I'm going to be traveling across country and I think it's a good idea to just go ahead and uh, put a new one in. I don't want nothing to happen um, on the highway. So um, I decided to do a video on uh, removing this compressor on this 2005 Grand Dodge uh, Caravan. And uh, so far, as, as I look over the uh, where it's located, it looks like it, it may come out pretty easy, so, but um, I don't know. So I'm gonna try and I'm, I'm gonna talk as I go and show you uh, how to get this thing out for standby diversity. Okay, um, look like it's not gonna come out from the top, but that's for sure. The alternator there, I'm gonna have to take my belt off. And let me go from the bottom, see what we got. Okay, it looks like we got some type of splash guard here that needs to be removed. I can see a Christmas tree not there, maybe a couple of them. This one at the top here. Another one at the back there. So that's three. Look like a um, zip tie right above there. So three Christmas tree nuts and a zip tie that should come off. Okay, I got that splash guard off. Right here, it pretty much popped off and I had to take my carpenter's knife and cut this piece that was holding it on also. The zip ties. But that came right off. And my compressor is right here. Right up front at the bottom. Um, Got to get my belt off and my belt tensioner and take that off. And let me see, let me count the bolts. Got this one here. Um, I can't see where I'm location I'm at, but uh, there has to be probably two more. Get this one at the top, on top of the compressor. It's kind of dark here. So let me find the right socket wrenches to get those loose and get my belt off and get the high and low side connectors off and the compressor should come right out. On top of the compressor, my high and low side connectors there. Make sure you get your Freon uh, evacuated from a shop and save it for you. But uh, make sure there's no pressure in there. But I got my high and low side, I got two bolt, one, one bolt on top of each of those connectors. I had to use a one half inch socket to get to get my lines off here. I got one of them off. It's loose. Um, this one here at the bottom. Looks like the high side. Then I took a one half inch socket to set on top of that screw and I had, actually I had to take a um, one half inch wrench to get it started tonight. Uh, use my socket, put it on top and be able to turn it the rest of the way. So working on getting the, the high and low side lines off the top of off the top of the compressor and moving right along. I had to disconnect my um, one of my fans here that's was kind of blocking my socket from getting over the screw so I just unplugged flipped the little red switch up and um, unplugged it and moved it out of the